I've been working on this project since the end of last year. I thought I'd have it done way before now. So this is my e-bike camper, solar powered. It's a recumbent trike with a frame built around it. In Europe they would call it a velomobile. It's a touring bike. It has a built-in camper instead of having a trailer with all of your gear. The back is a camper. The side pops open and a tent drops down. And you can hold all of your camping gear, food, etc. inside. Solar panel is 600 watts and it provides all the power needed to keep the batteries topped off. Every time I've taken it out so far in my test runs, it has come back fully charged. So to set up the camper, let's go in the side end here. And grab the drop cloth and the poles for the tent. And that just shuts with the magnetic clasps. And the poles and drop cloth here. on the bottom. And on the ends, some Velcro. Inside to grab pole holders and stakes and the ropes. And these are just done with a hole in the top and a nail. That goes right inside the stake. So this is the pole that holds the roof up. There's a little hole here where this nail goes in, and then the end goes into the end of the pipe on the pole. And on this end, stake out. It would stabilize this from rocking around in the wind. Stake it down on that side to prevent the whole bike from rattling like that in the wind. And then there's also four corners. And then where the poles go, there's a little strap to set them in on the bottom so as there well. There you have the side, the tent popped out, side view. Let's go inside. So I got my air mattress, also got a, another pad underneath that. On the inside. We got zippers here to let in light or in the air. This goes all the way down. Same on the other end and also on the door. And this here is the 30 amp hour 24 volt battery that runs the motor and all the electronics. We have a USB charger here, inverter, 400 watt 24 volt inverter. This is a plug if I wanted to put in my fridge. So the battery is hooked up here. It's an EP Ever 20 amp. Tracer MPPT, solar charge controller. So this is the strobe light switch. 
the tail light switch. This shows your voltage. This one here is a watts up meter, which tells all kinds of parameters of the battery and how much power you're using. I have the headlight switch and a horn. So in the front, we have the headlight, this one headlight, reflective tape on the corners, And there's the tail light lit up, and the strobe light was working on one side, the other side. And these did not work as I was hoping, so I ordered a new controller, which should be coming by the end of this week. And then the, the tail light also has a brake light, which is activated. And hit the brake. There's the motor. Still got a few things to finish up. I got to do coverings for the wire. Got to finish up the strobe lights and the connection for that. Get a little better control panel. So you can see the whole control panel there. And then up above is my speedometer. Or down here is the motor and the chain. So this, this is a free wheel here so I can pedal or not pedal to assist the electric motor. I have two gears in the front so that the motor would die and I'm in a steep hill I can drop the upper one down to the lower sprocket. And I, I do that just by moving this manually. And then underneath, it chain tubes and a six speed rear sprocket and a rear brake. And on the speedometer here, that keeps track of speed, miles, elevation gain, um, time traveled. But it doesn't do time travel. And a mount there for my phone, which I'm not sure I'm going to keep it there. I might move it down underneath. We'll change things around as I use it. So I have 600 watts of solar on top. These are flexible solar panels mounted inside aluminum frames and I have a windshield in the front which is needed when it's cold like it is now and the solar panels are hooked up in parallel and series so it's a hybrid so it's 44 volts Two panels equals 44 volts, and then doubled the amperage with four panels. I also made a cover to cover up the opening here. It keeps the rain from it going in there, and it keeps the prying eyes away. Kids from pushing buttons and stuff. Cover up the opening like when I go shopping in a grocery store at night. I'll show you how I get into this puppy. So, I just reach in with one foot. Slide my butt over. And then I just gotta put my feet in the power grips. Make sure my feet don't pop off the power. Turn on my speedometer. Start. And away we go. And power down. Not a breeze getting in and out, but it works.
Thank you.